Well, we know you love this island, and maybe that's one of the reasons why. Scenes like that. Each week, Tuesdays and Fridays on CTV News, we take a look at the people and the places that make Vancouver Island special. You may not know them yet, but our Bruce Williams does. As he travels up and down the island, Bruce gets to sample and to see the rich diversity of every community. And that is one of the reasons that Bruce will tell you, I love this island. Okay, so you get to see this is our big fish containers. Meet Chris Foote. He loves fish. This is a deep sea skate from off of our coast, a uh, uh, type of ray. Chris teaches in the fisheries and aquaculture program at Vancouver Island University in Nanaimo. He has technology at his fingertips, but one of his favorite teaching aids is this collection of more than 3,000 fish samples. And this is... Um, a thing called a rat tail. A family. They're in tubs, they're in tanks, they're in jars, and he knows each one by name. Chris's love of fish began when he was a child. I grew up with a father who, for whatever reason, had an unbelievable fascination with fish, both as a fisherman, but also our basement was full of tropical fish tanks, and I mean full. I really believe in protecting uh, all fishes. Chris is a teacher, but he's also a lifelong student. He's eager to reach new depths in his understanding of ocean life and this collection is helping him get there. I like to tell students, if you don't understand the biodiversity of the animals that are there, you can't protect them. The oceans and the seas are deep and they're dark and they're cold. And some of the creatures that live there are scary. And yeah, some of them are in this collection. This is the true sort of killer of the deep seas. And it's called uh, a lancet fish. This collection is invaluable to students and to researchers who are working to learn more about aquatic life. It's been compiled through donations from the Pacific Biological Station, from the nets of local fishing vessels, and from private collectors. This is a very rare fish. Well, it's called a, a giant whiptail angler fish. Extremely rare. There may be about 14 of them known in the world, at least known to collections. It's a very large killer of the deep seas. But the thing is, there's 14 of them known in the world. Yep. One of them is here. This lab and this classroom smell distinctly fishy, and there's that sting of preservative odor in the air, but that all slowly disappears as the fascinating stories emerge. This is called a Pacific Dagger Tooth, well named because of yeah. all the teeth, but this one actually lives down deep, but comes up often to the surface waters at night to feed and then goes back down. Around here? Around here, yep, out in the open ocean, but around here. The collection is always growing, and its caretaker has a wish list of things that he would like to add. So, what's his greatest fish wish? It's a whale fish, which is a deep sea fish, another one of these deep sea killers that can um, eat very large prey. So if you have a whale fish that you're willing to part with, you could make Chris's fish wish come true. Hey, just when you thought it was safe to go back on the water, Bruce. Uh, <laughs> Bruce joins us now live in Nanaimo. How do you get a chance to see that stuff for yourself? Oh, just contact him, Chris, up at VIU. Would love to hear from anybody that wants to come and experience all those sights and, yes, the smells of that place as well. It's just amazing to see them, though, Hudson. And you mentioned about being safe to go back in the water. There are sharks of different sizes in that collection as well, one of which is only about that long, lives very deep in the water. Uh, Chris.foot at VIU.ca. He would love to give you a tour of that facility, Hudson, what you would learn about the fish and what lives in our water here. We'll give you a lot to talk about for a long time. That's I know, why. I, I know a lot of folks love this island for their own reasons. How do they get their uh, stories to you? Oh, just uh, email me, bruce.williams at bellmedia.ca. Contact our newsroom. Tell me why you, like me, love this island, and we'll tell those stories here on CTV News. All right, Bruce, thank you. Have a good weekend. Thanks, nice you too. See you.